They looked like ordinary tourists taking photos of St. Stephen's Cathedral, one of Vienna's tourist hotspots. But in reality, they are computer scientists, and they're convinced that the future protection of European cultural heritage may, in a great deal, be based on our smartphones. In a world where smartphones, sensors and cameras are everywhere, these researchers dream of using them differently. They want to turn them into active makers of 3D computer models. The reconstruction of 3D models is very expensive nowadays. One reason is that very costly equipment has to be used. Also, you have to plan exactly where to put those instruments in order to be able to really create all parts of a model. In this project, we're trying to make reconstructions much easier, not with expensive instruments, but with ordinary mobile phones, for example, or digital cameras, which everybody has. After complex mathematical calculations, still photos are rendered into 3D models. Before getting this result, scientists say very different technical challenges had to be overcome. The original pictures are of a very different scale. Some are taken from far away, others just offer details. These different distances also lead to different surface samples of the objects. If I have a photo taken from far away, then the samples are rather imprecise and should be written over by the ones that have been taken from very close by in order to reconstruct even small details correctly. So basically, scientists from this European research project have had to teach computers to understand the shape of real objects in evolving environments. And that, they say, is far from simple. I develop computer models and algorithms to interpret the data from 3D captures. All the data measured in the real world, one million or one billion digital points, has to translate into a virtual three-dimensional object that applications can later make good use of. When you try to bring the real world into a virtual world, you need to work three different parameters at the same time. You have to digitize the shape, the motion and the appearance to transform them into virtual interactive applications. Scientists have also developed systems to recreate 4D graphics out of photos taken by archaeologists during their digs. 4D is 3D plus evolution in time. So while surfing into this three-dimensional graphic, we can interactively see the parts that have changed during archaeological excavation and the parts that were left unchanged by archaeologists during their digs. And researchers are now looking ahead at eventual practical applications with the study and protection of cultural heritage, a first evident choice, they say. It's possible to use the 3D models that we can produce for exhibitions and museums. The advantage is that it has become easier to produce these models so that, for instance, even people working at archaeological sites can participate directly and create those models on their own. Researchers hope their technology could become a market reality in less than five years.